there is some crazy ass weather heading our way in about 10 hours time, so. Good morning now, in effect until 9 a.m. 10, 10 time, Wednesday, April point three, just walking up to point south, and 10 to 60 nautical miles. Northwest winds, 25 to 35 knots, with gusts to 45 knots, the combined speed 17 to 20 foot. Good to see up to 50 knots of wind tonight. We've got the engine apart. We've got chain out and an anchor, and that's what we're relying on tonight. If that lets go, we're gonna be on the rocks. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Okay, so we've woken up to some really bad weather coming. Um, we knew it was coming yesterday, but it's looking worse and worse. And so Lee's just up on deck, putting more anchor chain out. So we've got like 150 feet and we're in, I don't know, 15 feet of water. So <laughs> we should be okay. The only problem is um, with this bad weather, we're not concerned about it, but we do have our gearbox and our engine out and apart. So what we don't have at the moment is a working engine. So if we do start drifting and we get into trouble, we can't start the motor. So that is a little bit of a concern for us, but we're pretty confident we're gonna be okay. Um, there isn't any boats too close to us, so we're not concerned about that. Yeah, it's gonna be wet and windy. There is some crazy ass weather heading our way in about 10 hours time. So yeah, like I said, Lee's been up on deck making sure all our sails are all tightly wound in. There's nothing loose hanging. Um, we are a little bit worried about our umbrella top above the um, where the solar panels are. We're, Lee's gonna tie the solar panels down, but the umbrella, it's really old and you know, that's a concern that I could rip off, but it's not too bad. As long as the solar panels stay intact, we should be good. But um, yeah, we're in for a few wet, cold, rainy, windy days. So this is what the weather is showing us right now. Um, it's up around LA and uh, we are right about in here in San Diego. Kind of freaking out where we are, but here we go. This is what's coming. So that's 35 knots. They're predicting like 50 knots. But, I mean, this is all saying 30 knots. Ah, so it looks like the worst of it is around about tonight until tomorrow. It's gonna be quite windy. Here we go, what's the time there? All right, so like tonight from about 9 p.m. A lot stronger. Gusts will be 20% stronger. Gusts will be 20% stronger, Captain says. So we're in for a bit of a wild 24 hours. Please go all the deck ready and we're ready to embrace ourselves. <laughs> Not only are we going to get strong winds, we got some rain coming. Oh, that's lovely. It's actually coming on Friday. It looks like there's some strong wind too. So there's strong winds for the next three days. Why are you in a wetsuit, mate? Someone dropped their phone in the water. Some clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair call. I did drop my phone in the water last night, which is super sad. I didn't have my Yugo pouch on, yeah. which I try to put my phone in there most of the time, but I was really complacent last night. There it is guys would like one of these this will save you the grief of I've had you could have been on your phone with the clear thing on because you can type on this but I could have I could have saved all this grief if you don't have one I suggest you get one and keep your phone in there if you're ever going in your dinghy you're walking down the jetty anything near water have it in there because it is such a pain to lose your phone I do not recommend it at all but Taj is about to go over see if he can retrieve at least the SIM card and the phone um, right now. So they're gonna go in the dinghy. A little reenactment of last night. Sarah's come along last night to undo this dock line, sorry. And uh, lent down here and we're assuming it's literally right below here. So Taj is, uh, here he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've been waiting for. Let's see if we can get Sarah's phone. And that wind's coming too. We've got about 15 knots, maybe a little bit more gusting. We're about to see up to 50 plus tonight, so try and get Sarah's phone and get out here and batten down the hatches and cross our fingers because we don't have a transmission in. Oh, 
<laughs> Fucking good job, boy. Oh my god, mama. What did you do? Alright, so the boys just got back, like literally, that phone's been in the bag of rice for three seconds. <laughs> it's actually dry in there. Oh, it's got a rubber seal around it. It's supposed to be waterproof. I did get left in there for about 12 hours or 12 hours in the water. It's probably not going to be great, but we'll leave it in there. See how it goes. We'll let you know. Our lovely friend Brian dropped a phone for me this morning and we're just trying to back it up to my old phone. Coast Guard Station Marine Information Broadcast regarding a gale warning. Alright guys, so we're expected to see up to 50 knots of wind tonight. Um, we've battened down the hatches, we've removed anything loose up top. Pretty scary. We've got the engine apart. We have no means of moving this vessel. We have the gearbox out and all the rest that goes with it. If we turn the key, nothing's going to happen. So we've got a rock wall behind us. We've got chain out and an anchor, and that's what we're relying on tonight. If that lets go, we're going to be on the rocks. <laughs> that was the quickest little talk I've ever heard. That guy was sound like a chipmunk. It was all like we're on fast forward. <laughs> he's just repeating that we're on Gale Watch and uh, he's just, uh, yeah, letting us know that he's on Gale Watch. I suppose we've only got 30 to 40 knots out there at the moment, but we just got to make sure we don't get blows coming in over 50, I suppose. There'll be a few things blowing around. What are you going to do tonight? Are you going to sew something? <laughs> I made a couple of cushions out of a Mexican blanket that I had. That's the other one. I've made two now. Don't look too close. I'm not that great a sewer, but oh, they look pretty great. And uh, I might make some more. You got any plans tonight? No, I'm just gonna go up and just, and Watch. a couple of things we've got loose up top at the moment, which is Taj's dive gear from retrieving Sarah's phone that's now in rice. It's still not working. Um, it's not working. It's not looking good. This is United States Coast Guard Sector San Diego. United States Coast Guard Sector San Diego. United States Coast Guard Sector San Diego. February 21st, 2023. 1650 local time. 0050 Grand Chimita. Coast Guard is currently searching for a man overboard from the fishing vessel Defiance in the vicinity of position 32 hyphen 44 decimal 8 north 117 hyphen 30 decimal 3 west any vessel that saw the fishing vessel defiance operating in the last 48 hours is requested to contact sector san diego on channel 16 or channel 22 alpha all vessels are requested to keep a sharp lookout assist if possible and report all sightings to the coast guard this is united States coast guard sector san diego out so we got a man overboard and we have massive seas coming in. So hopefully um, they find that person soon because we've only got a few hours till we receive about 50 knots of wind. I can't speak on my behalf, but the rest of the crew has been uh, doing ice, ice baths. We call it in the morning for at least 10 minutes. They're not ice baths, but they're cold enough. <laughs> they are for us, we come from the tropics. So uh, yeah, they've been having a dip for at least 10 minutes or so and saying it's a little bit cold, but I don't know if it is cold or not. It's only like 12 degrees. I would degrees. not like to be floating out there waiting for someone to find me, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, so hopefully this person tonight gets found before the weather comes in and the weather's only hours away. Probably got 15 to 20 knots out there at the moment and we're expected to get up to 50, so fingers crossed for that person. I'm here Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. Uh, it's 
feels super windy. And, uh, we didn't have the greatest night. Lee was up pretty much all night. But we held our anchor, we haven't dragged. It's calmed down a lot. It's about half half the wind we had last night. Well, thanks to our amazing captain and our incredible ground tackle, we did not drag. We survived the crazy weather. And that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.